Hello friends, here we have very nice system of equations. 6 raised to x plus 6 raised to y is equal to 42 and x plus y is equal to 3. Let's find out x and y. First, we will call this is equation number 1 and this is equation number 2. And we will start with equation number 1 which is 6 raised to x plus 6 raised to y is equal to 42. Now what we are going to do is we will multiply with 6 raised to x both sides. So here we have 6 raised to x and here 42 into 6 raised to x. And we will distribute 6 raised to x in the bracket. So it will be 6 raised to x into 6 raised to x plus 6 raised to y into 6 raised to x is equal to 42 into 6 raised to x. Now here we will use this rule which says a raised to b into a raised to c then it can be written as a raised to b plus c. So in the next step we can write 6 raised to x plus x plus 6 raised to x plus y is equal to 42 into 6 raised to x. So it can be written as 6 raised to 2x plus 6 raised to x plus y is equal to 42 into 6 raised to x. Now check the equation 2 which is x plus y is equal to 3 is equation 2. So here we have x plus y. So let's put 3 instead of x plus y here. So we can write 6 raised to 2x plus 6 cube is equal to 42 into 6 raised to x. Now what is 6 cube? It is 260. So here we have 6 raised to 2x plus 216 is equal to 42 into 6 raised to x. Okay, now let's remind this rule where a raised to b into c then it can be also written as a raised to b whole raised to c. And we will use this rule here. So we have 6 raised to x whole square plus 216 is equal to 42 into 6 raised to x. Now for convenience we will take k in place of 6 raised to x. So here we have k square plus 216 is equal to 42 into k. We will move this to left hand side. So we have k square minus 42k plus 216 is equal to 0. It's a quadratic equation we have and we can factorize it. 36 into 6 is 216 and minus 36k minus 6k is minus 42k. So we can complete the square and it can be written as k square minus 36k minus 6k plus 216 is equal to 0. Here we can take k common. So we have k into k minus 36 and here we can take 6 common. So we have So we can write like this k minus 6 into k minus 36 is equal to 0. So we have two possibilities here k minus 6 is equal to 0 and k minus 36 is equal to 0. So we have k is equal to 6 and here we have k is equal to 36. As we know we have taken 6 raised to x is equal to k. So let's put it back. Here we have 6 raised to x is equal to 6. 
and here we have 6 raised to x is equal to 36. Here 1 is default exponent and here we have same base so we can equate their exponent x is equal to 1 and here 36 is 6 square. So here we have 6 raised to x is equal to 6 square so x is equal to 2. Now we can put these values of x in equation 2 and find the corresponding values of y. Equation 2 is x plus y is equal to 3. Let's put x is equal to 1. So we have 1 plus y is equal to 3. So y is equal to 3 minus 1. So y is equal to 2. Now let's put x is equal to 2. x plus y is equal to 3. 2 plus y is equal to 3. So y is equal to 3 minus 2. So y is equal to 1. So we have two sets of answers. When x is equal to 1, then y is equal to 2. And when x is equal to 2, then y is equal to 1. That's it for now. Please don't forget to subscribe. See you soon in the next one. Bye-bye.